वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल येस फाइनली द टाइम हैज कम दैट आई विल टॉक अबाउट माई न्यू एग्जॉस्ट इन मिडल ऑफ सेटिंग अप दिस रैक इन दिस एरिया एंड आई होप यू गाइज हैव सीन माई स्मॉल वर्क स्पेस वीडियो विच आई हैड क्रिएटेड सम डेज बैक टूडे वी गोन टॉक अबाउट द एग्जॉस्ट आई एम इंस्टॉलिंग ऑन याकूजा येस इंटरसेप्टर सिक्स फिफ्टी दिस एग्जॉस्ट इज नन अदर देन ए ई डब्ल्यू टी ई वन जीरो टू विच एवरी वन वॉज एंटिसिपेटिंग even me so before i start this video i want to give a big shout out to aew ashu engineering works from pune because the courier companies were really not delivering this package and somehow uh, it managed to reach fakruddin and company who are the whole and sole distributors in mumbai and from there i have received my parcel the packing for this exhaust was done really nice as you can see in the clip the plastic uh, the cling wrap around the foam put at the right areas putting them individually in single boxes made sense and there were no scratches nothing as soon as i received so well from fakruddin and company this actually got delivered to my house through a porter system and uh, thanks a lot they are the oldest in this business and they are actually the distributors for aew well aew is from pune everyone knows about this brand quite honestly this is not the first time i'm using aew you guys are shocked right actually my youtube journey started with exhaust and the exhaust i'm talking about was similar yes it was a aw which i had put on my gt 535 and there were plenty of questions which exhaust is that and i think that exhaust was ceramic wool yes this is steel finish uh, i am very much into metal you guys already know that so this is a great steel finish and yes it is a bit of uh, you know fingerprint magnet as you can see i really like the seamless kind of welding they have tried to uh, accomplish over this exhaust which is really nice obviously this could be argon or this could be some kind of uh, lasik uh, welding which they have done uh, the badging is uh, shown on both side behind the exhaust you can see it says aw india there is a marka of aw trademark pune uh, there is also a batch number which, which is very important so all the fonting is done lasik which i really like even in the front it just says aew india which is actually ashu engineering works a couple of more exhaust from this company for the interceptor 650 or for the gt650 uh, so they do have the 101 this is the 102 and i think there is another one which is very much like straight pipes which looks uh, decent enough on a interceptor not on the gt650 for sure but on interceptor the straight pipes look good if it was more of like uh, like a bony setup it would look really nice you know with the rear rack and all then i think it look good but i wanted a bit of upswept because you know um this kind of gives a more sporty and grunty feel to it uh the heat shield is a really good move the 101 does not come with a heat shield also the 101 is a bit thinner compared to this the reason i went for 102 is because 10 being thicker uh, will actually create more base according to me so because it's a little similar to the stock exhaust what i like about it that uh, you know i won't have much issues with the cops also because um, it's decent the glass hole is right there in in local language we call it the jali it's like a grill uh, basically it's uh, to dampen the sound and also take the emission in so the jali is uh, quite there till the db killer area yes there is a db killer so that the sound can reduce a bit which we will now demonstrate talking quickly about the weight of this exhaust i think it's around 2.5 kilos or 2.6 that's what people are telling me i have not actually weighed it i don't have a weighing scale handy right now uh, but i think it is around 2 and a half kilo or something so the stock exhaust is anywhere around 5 kilo i'm talking individually so this would be anywhere crossing 50% lighter and you know what i like about this this is not light guys okay so i like that it's around 2 and 1/2 kilos couple of brands which did approach me which were lighter than even a kilo and that was a no no for me because you don't want to put um, just a a simple sheet of metal pipe across your exhaust you know just to make that sound and i don't want too much loud sound because if i plan to do long rides it kind of gets annoying especially after 4000 5000 rpm you know interceptor advantage is that it's a torque engine so i'm going to enjoy the rumble a lot till 5000 rpm and um, on the top gear if you are the max speed of 130 140 um i have done even 170 i don't want lot of misfires on this i hope this does justice but that will all 
come in my review video which will be followed by this i will make you guys hear the sound of this exhaust but i will motor vlog separately uh, for a longer ride so that you can enjoy wear the headphones and feel what i feel on a motorcycle about these exhausts how much of steel is used in this and how much of uh, metal is uh, used in this because they have a ms version also uh, which is on the chrome side and shinier and a bit cheaper as well so this is actually my mobile holder uh, which is made of leather and as you can see this is really strong magnet uh, the reason this is the strongest mag magnet is because this is a tank pouch for my mobile holder it's pure leather so i'm gonna like stick this if it sticks then we'll know how much of metal is used instead of steel and as you can see this is actually magnetic motorcycle is very dirty so once we fit the exhaust when I say we means Abhideep so finally Abhideep has arrived gloves and everything and we have a sanitizer everything and it's quite breezy so I think the audio won't be that great but we'll try our best so we are using the stock toolkit of a struggle but finally the exhaust is out and hell yeah missing out on my workout dumbbells I don't have to worry form some muscle with this I have just done a temporary fix I have not completely uh, installed the exhaust but you see the difference the thickness obviously slimmer than the stock that's the main purpose the second main purpose was also the heat problem these exhaust, the stock exhaust, everyone knows they heat up like crazy and obviously because it has a reverse cone system in it and that's why uh, the heat stays inside and then comes out with a nice growl, uh, the exhausts are designed that way. my camera battery is down and that has the original sound and if I change the mic system you guys won't actually experience it so what I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'll take a shot from that camera because it has the original stock sound also so that's the whole plan uh, right now but too excited to start this machine so I'm gonna start it so you guys will see my reaction and tomorrow I'll shoot again and uh, try to merge it for the comparison bit So this is with uh, DB killer So after literally keeping the bike on for 10 to 15 minutes The stock exhaust used to be really really hot This is really good This is one good thing which I liked about this exhaust With DB killer on I feel 25 to 30 percent the sound is a little higher it baffles a little bit uh, obviously because there is uh, a nice db killer basically the exhaust note uh, really comes hits the baffles here uh, uh, how do you say farfa <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear a little bit of a baffle uh, effect on the later part of the exhaust which is really good so the rumble and the grunt comes from here a little bit uh, tense that it might not go with my chrome engine but overall if you see my bike is silver and even the exhaust it kind of complements it so i am removing the db killer uh, it comes with the allen key i am using mine they have provided in uh, the packing uh, it's very simple you just loosen this and the whole db killer is out this is how it looks
it's nice it feels more sportier the bass kicks in obviously because there are no baffles so basically there is no interruption of the exhaust note so it's just a straight pass through and because it's a industrial stainless steel heavy duty it can really compress well but i'm sure the misfires could happen depends how you deaccelerate basically you know from a higher gear to a lower gear the material use is nice the fit and finish is perfect i also checked any air leakages that's very important especially this area uh, fortunately there were no air leakages and in due course i will give you a proper review when i ride this motorcycle because this video was only about the unboxing experience and fitting and having a feel of it and anyways it's been uh, a week now it's continuously raining in uh, mumbai uh, that's a drawback also the coronavirus uh, scare which is not allowing people to ride often uh, but i'm surely gonna wear my helmet and just go for a spin at least 50 to 100 kilometers to let you guys know how they perform so stay tuned for that video and plenty of videos coming your way as usual eat well sleep well signing off raj from rad moto is the sound without the dv killers Crazy, it's loud. Shall enjoy.